Brother TV. What's happening, fellas? I didn't earn the King of Ping by chance. I've been riding these big CR500 since 1986, and uh, Husqvarna 500s, 84 and 85, so many, many moons, many decades, I've ridden them all. And this is the weapon of choice to this day for hill climbers. Um, anybody who's even considering doing vintage motocross, if you want to win, you can't go wrong. This 89 CR500 is one of the most highly coveted CRs ever made and for good reason. Uh, they're just a fantastic motorcycle. The pinnacle of two-stroke motocross development in absolute rocket ship. Uh, the blood red fenders and frame sure play nicely with the silver wheels and it's a classic looking motorcycle with a timeless power delivery. It's, it's uh, all torque from 2,500 RPM to 7,000, it's got 25% more torque than any modern 450 made today, even with the extra 40 years of development they've had. And the peak horsepower at the rear wheel on a stock one's around 52 and a half horse, so they're absolutely stout. This one is absolutely pristine. It's had a full frame off restoration. The original factory frame rails are in good condition. Uh, the original factory subframes in good condition. The original factory engine cases are, are pristine on this bike. They're, um, the, I'll start with the engine because that's really the heart of any CR500. That's, that's where the real magic is. These are the original factory engine cases that have been completely dismantled and bead blasted to that beautiful silver factory finish. The crank, it's got a brand new crank in it. OEM Honda crank with new crank bearings, uh, new rod, all new lower end bearings and seals and gaskets, uh, the shifter seal, the kicker seal, the uh, crank seals. You can see the base gasket is brand new. The cylinder has a brand new piston in it, rings, new bore. Uh, the head has been sent out and it has the decompression release on it, which I don't use to, to start my 500 ever. But if you're older or you got a bum knee, this sure does help. I don't use that at all. Um, the PJ, key and PJ carb is mated to a twin air filter with the Boyson reeds. And uh, you can see it has a new fuel petcock and fuel lines. The engine's brand new. It's got less than an hour ride time on it, and it absolutely hauls the mill. It has a Boyson factory racing ignition cover, uh, all new hardware. You can see there's a telltale sign right here. This is what I've been running on my CR500, my personal steed, which is a 97. I do the hill climbs on and the motocross and grass drags on. If you look up here, there's a massive cylinder. It's a Magura. It's a Magura hydraulic clutch. I've been using that going on my fifth season on mine. I've never had a problem. It's flawless, it adjusts itself. So the hydraulic clutch, brand new clutch basket, brand new clutch plates, brand new shifter. Uh, it's an OEM Honda shifter. Uh, has the original factory case protector, new counter shaft sprocket. Uh, as you can see, the, 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 motor, the motor's brand new on the, on the outside. It's brand new on the inside, and it's got all the best components you could want on it. Coming over to the other side here, you can see it has the uh, FMF Gold Series gnarly pipe, brand new exhaust system with the platinum finish on it. The Honda case cover has been matched to the uh, one on the other side. It was painted black and then sanded down with 300, 600, and 800 grit. And then, uh, actually, the, before they painted it, Ronnie sanded it 368 and then buffed the Honda logo so it shines like chrome and then covered those with grease and then painted the cover. All new hardware. Um, water pump is brand new. Everything's rebuilt. All new hardware, new hoses. Uh, the radiators are brand new. Uh, oversized aluminum GPI radiators. You can see they're in brand new condition. Uh, new radiator protectors, new radiator shrouds, all new hardware, all new hoses. Obviously new coolant, uh, new gear lube. Um, the you can see the clutch cover it has a new gasket on it. Uh, everything's new inside the engine, all the bearings, gasket seals, and it's it's a bulletproof CR500. This thing's gonna last forever. The, the, the factory kicker is in excellent condition. The pegs are oversized, super stock by IMS pegs. It has a works connection frame guards. Again, the frame's been repainted. Uh, these, these guards have been 300, 600, 800 sanded, then buffed and polished. Uh, it has an FMF. PowerCore 2 silencer mated to, mated to the FMF gnarly exhaust. Uh, the shock, the suspension has been completely rebuilt by 
um, Hill's performance tuning. Uh, the shower uh, forks and, and shocks have been completely rebuilt with new oil, new seals, new, new springs, uh, new gaskets. Um, you see you have the air assist on the top of the forks here. Uh, new steering head bearings. Um, the forks are totally redone. The shock has been completely rebuilt, as you can see. Uh, it has a one-up rate on the spring, and you can see it has the new shock bumper on there also. Um, so the shock's totally redone. All new bearings in the linkage. You can see it has new inspection covers. Uh, the swing arm is in absolutely pristine condition. Another hallmark of a mint bike. It's not all, these are all gouged up and messed up. This one is uh, a low hour original. New brake stay guides, a new shock protector. Uh, you can see the brake system looks brand new on it. Well, it's because it is. It's been completely dismantled, um, vapor blasted, rebuilt, uh, new pads. Um, everything's fresh. The uh, rear brake rotor has been replaced. The original factory hub has been vapor blasted and the whole rear wheel, the original factory wheel was dismantled. The rim was has a new Takasago XL rim with a new Dunlop 120-90-18 Geomax MX-33 mid soft terrain tire. I didn't want to burn it up too much on the driveway so I was trying to take it easy but uh, this, this 500 will just light up a rear tire if you're not careful. You can see that the hub's been vapor blasted. Uh, the paint's been removed from, from it. Uh, the spokes are replaced along with the rim. It's got a new Sunstar 51 tooth rear sprocket with a new gold chain, new ProLink logos. This is a factory original Honda OEM uh, chain guide. You can see that's been also given the treatment 320, 600, 800 grit sanded and three levels of polishing to give it almost a chrome appearance. That's an original factory uh, guide just polished. The original swing arm you can see looks to be in new condition on this side. No gouges. New hardware uh, on the um, axle adjusters. Uh, again, new chain, works connection, polished, polished. Um, it's got a works connection, polished uh, frame guard on this side. Um, you see it's got the, this is the Boyson factory racing cover. Same thing here. Ronnie sanded this down, 320, 800, and then polished it like chrome and then painted it and put new hardware on there. So uh, lots of really cool custom touches. IMS super stock pegs, of course, I'm on this side too. All new hardware. Um, the uh, front wheel is the same as the rear wheel. It's been replaced with an, uh, a new XL, Takasago XL rim with a new Dunlop MX-53 Oh, excuse me, MX-33 front tire. That's a mid to soft terrain tire. Uh, new spokes, new wheel bearings. Um, the master cylinder uh, up top has been rebuilt. The, the um, caliper has been rebuilt. New pads, you can see everything is in fresh, brand new condition. Uh, of course, new brake fluid. Uh, new fork protectors. Um, brand new front fender. Brand new front number plate. Brand new radiator shrouds. This is the original 1989 tank. Our detail shop polished this tank, so it has a beautiful shine to it. Um, for an original tank, it's just remarkable to find one that, that clean and nice looking. Uh, original gas cap has a new hose on it. Uh, brand new Renthal bars, uh, along with the Renthal bar mounts, a Magura clutch and lever, uh, Uri period correct grips with the Renthal crossbar pad. Um, just, just beautiful. Everywhere you look, there's a hundred dollar bill on this bike. New throttle, uh, brand new, uh, saddle, uh, with the... Uh, oversized foam in it, super, super comfy foam on this thing. It's, it's just cut above the factory original. It kind of gets packed down after a few decades. It's nice and fresh. Uh, this is none other than, than my honey, Christy Steiger, designed this graphics package. Those who know, know this is a very special package. She only does one per bike. This is number 59. This is her 59th custom kit. There's none, it's the only one like it. Uh, it's a one-off. You can see it has the, the red, white, and blue Honda wing with the HRC logo. Uh, the black backgrounds with the gold, um, just just beautiful. Just a beautiful graphics package. Plays nicely with the polished aluminum radiators and the gold pipe and the, the custom ignition cover. Um, an awful lot of time and money's gone into this bike, that's for sure. Of course, new side number plates, a new rear fender, all new, hun all new uh, mounting hardware for the seat and the rear fender. New shock protector and take a look at this brand new FMF power core two silencer. A uh, lot of time and money went into this bike. Um, a, a conservative estimate to do a frame off like this is about 70 hours. So call your local Honda, any shop up and ask them what it would cost to do a frame up, frame off with all the trick components and all the new parts and, and, and you're gonna have a $10,000 
restoration bill easily, uh, parts and labor. If you can even find a shop to do this kind of work, we're one of the few left in the country. This is what we specialize in. This one's been wizard tuned. He's touched every nut and bolt on this bike, uh, tuned it, jetted it. Um, Ronnie in the detail shop did their magic on the polishing of the aluminums and repainting the finishes. You've got a one-off graphics package by probably the best custom graphics designer in the industry right now. Chrissy's just knocking it out of the park. Um, look, look at this, look at the front. It's freaking beautiful, man. Uh, Honda, the power of dreams, um, CR 500 R logo. These number ones, she makes these removable, so you can just peel this off if you want to put your number on it, or, or buy a number plate with no graphics if you're going to race it, and you don't want to destroy this beautiful set of graphics. Um, so, yeah, if, if you're looking for an 89 500, well, your ship just came in, man. This is a, this is a stunner. Uh, it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be expensive, but uh, it's there's only one like it in the country available for sale today that I know of. Uh, I don't know any anybody who's got a 500 for sale that's nice. Oh, I always recommend checking out the, the frame rails and the engine cases. As you can see, the um, there's a one little tiny um, uh, ding, a, a little little spot in the frame right here. It's about two inches long. Uh, that doesn't affect the mechanical integrity. The clutch cover gasket is actually leaking a little bit. Um, I knew that before I did the video. It's going back down on the wizard. Um, when Ronnie took the, the, the clutch cover off, he must have um, probably not put the gasket on right, but the clutch cover is leaking a little bit. Uh, the wizard's going to put a new gasket on that. As you can see on this side here, this side of the frame rail is, is dent free, ding free, except for one tiny little ding right here. Usually, you know, in one season, I'd flatten out, I'd literally flatten out a CR500 frame in New England motocross. So we do not restore bikes that don't have frames that are, that are good. These are getting really hard to find in, in uh, this kind of, you know, completely restored like this with all of the goodies this has. So if you're serious about getting a CR500, this one's definitely Kaplan America approved. It's a absolute rocket ship. I'd like to take it out in the dirt and show you what it'll do, but there's plenty of videos of me doing that in other 500s. This one's too clean for me to get dirty right now. It's ready to go. It'll be on display in the museum. Uh, we offer financing. We can ship it to you anywhere in the United States of America or anywhere in the world. And uh, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Bid high, bid off, and this one's a dime.